Almost all broadcasters venture away from regular music programming from time to time to craft special programming such as countdowns, twofers, A to Z weekends, and more. This video will show you how easy it is to set up one category that can be used over and over for scheduling different kinds of special programming. I've taken the liberty of creating a category called Special for this purpose. As you know from previous videos, songs can be copied into one or more other categories by drag-drop. In this case, we're going to copy the top 100 songs of the year into the folder of the special category. There's a bit of prep work involved in finding these 100 songs. The peak position field of each song has been given a rank. By adding this field to the display and performing a reverse sort, you can see the songs are now in order from 100 to 1, just the way we want for our countdown. Now highlight the songs by clicking on the top song with peak position 100, then shift clicking on the last song, the one with peak position number 1. With the entire range of songs highlighted, drag drop them into the folder of the special category and choose copy. Remember, the songs still remain in their original categories. They have simply been copied to become part of the special category as well. Since this is a special countdown show, we want the songs to schedule an order from 100 to 1. Therefore, all rules for the special category only need to be turned off. Since this is a new category, it is not already populated with separation rules, offset, circulation, mood, or max plays. But there are two rule tabs, Properties and General, that will need attention. The property rules must be turned off for the special category. In that tab, at the top, click Choose a Selection Type. Click Select All and all of the properties in the special category will be chosen. To disable the property rules all at once, click on the icon Edit the Settings for the selected songs. On the Property Control setting box, click the dark red circle, changing it to green. Leave the Active box above it unchecked and click OK. Notice how all of the properties just for the special category have become inactive. The final item that needs attention is in the General tab. Double click on the Day Part Restrictions line and uncheck the box next to Active. This will prevent a song in the countdown that might be day parted from being skipped during the scheduling process, thereby ruining the countdown. The last bit of housekeeping that needs attention is Search Depth, which can be found in the folder editor. As you know, Search Depth is the number of songs Powergold can look into the folder of a category before choosing the best song to schedule. In our case, we want the songs to schedule in order, so the Search Depth needs to be set to Number 1, meaning Powergold can only consider the first song at the top of the folder, assuring our arrangement of songs will schedule in order. Finally, one or more clocks need to be created and populated with the folder of the special category. You might have to break out the calculator to determine the number of songs you can play per hour and, and time the countdown so it ends when you want. I created two different clocks to accommodate the countdown. One has 15 category positions per hour and will be used from 5 to 10 p.m., while the second clock has 10 category positions and will be used in the 11 p.m. hour. It has more content to build the suspense during the last hour. Plus, it happens to cause the number one song to schedule just before midnight. This Top 100 countdown begins at 5 p.m. and ends at 12 midnight. There is no secret formula. Simply work out a plan with as many clocks as you need. 
Once the clocks are created or content copied from other clocks, click on the clock grid and assign the clocks in the hours you want. The countdown clock on this grid begins Friday at 5 p.m. using the same clock each hour until 11 p.m. where the special clock is used. At this point it would be a good idea to make a backup of your data in case the songs are not scheduled on the log in the proper order. This safety net is the only way to troubleshoot a problem if you have to restore a backup. Next is to schedule. This schedule is for New Year's Eve, December 31, 2010. After the day schedules, examine the unscheduled report by clicking the U button to display a summary of unscheduled song positions for Friday. Should there be any unscheduled positions between 5 p.m. and midnight, you would see a yellow box in that hour along with the number of unscheduled positions in that hour. Blank hours on the grid, especially from 5 to midnight, mean all of the songs scheduled. I will add peak position to the scheduled display to see the song rankings. After the day is scheduled and played, remove special category songs from the folder. Highlight all of the songs by clicking Select and Select All. Click Change, then Remove Songs from Folder. Click Yes to confirm and the songs will disappear from the folder of the special category. Of course, the songs still remain in their regular categories. As a matter of fact, a safety precaution that PowerGold has is it will not remove a song from a folder if it is the only folder in which that song resides. Don't forget to change the clock grid back to reflect regular programming. The folder in the special category remains empty until you're ready to populate it again with songs for an A to Z weekend or other special programming. Most of the work is already done. You may need to tweak a clock or two but having the special category in place allows you to maintain one or more categories for special programming depending on the need. When the special programming is finished for that week or weekend, simply remove the songs from the folder of the special category and it's ready to be used again. If you have an idea for a PowerGold video, let us know. Thanks for watching.